Hi, I'm Beth Posta. I'm the curator of behavioral husbandry and well-being here at the Toledo Zoo. And we wanted to share some of the observations we had during our solar eclipse. It was a huge event here at the zoo. We had over 10,000 visitors sharing this experience with us and observing the animals. While we are still collecting data on our animals, we did have some really interesting observations throughout the course of the afternoon. So some of the most noteworthy to us were the giraffe behind me. During the partial eclipse, they spent a lot of time going inside and outside and just kind of milling around. But as soon as it got really dark, they all ran inside and then a few of them stuck their heads out the door and just kind of looked out to see what was going on. And then as soon as it got light again, they all walked right back outside. Our otters showed an interesting response as well. They jumped out of the water, ran around a little bit, and then jumped onto the raft within the water and sat on the raft for a little bit, kind of looking around, which is a little bit unusual for them. Youngest gorilla, baby Mike, did run over to his mom when it was getting pretty dark and kind of clung to her for a while, and even afterwards, sitting on his mom's lap, just kind of clinging on to her. The hippos, were laying on their beach, just relaxing during the partial eclipse. And as soon as it got dark, they went into the water and started splashing around. We did see a little bit of nighttime activity with some of our primates, the pied tamarins in nature's neighborhood. While they were inside, they are under kind of natural light. They've got solar tubes. The natural sunlight can come through. And as it got dark, they all ran into their nest box, which is where they would sleep for the night, just for a few seconds and then they came right back out. And then probably the star of the show here is Dodge, our Kodiak bear. Dodge, during the eclipse, during the totality, stood up on two feet and just started looking around, knowing something was different, but probably was a little bit curious and confused as to what was actually happening. So we're not really sure what all of this means. I think some of the behavior we're seeing was just a natural response to, oh, it's getting to be nighttime and it's time to go in. And then they realized, oh wait, it's not nighttime. But I think some of the animals were just confused and we really weren't necessarily expecting that kind of behavior. So over the next several weeks, we will be collecting uh, scientific data and putting all of that together to see what kind of connections that we can make from the animal's behavior to actually the science and see if we can kind of determine what the meaning is of all of that. We had some citizen science data collection stations throughout the zoo where our visitors could come in and they kind of made predictions of what the animals would do during the eclipse. And then they actually helped us by collecting data every 15 seconds for a three minute period and helped us determine what the animals did before and after the eclipse. So we're starting to look at that data as well to see how that compares to the data that we have that we can add to. So we thank everybody who took part in that and we're excited that you could come be part of our behavior department and our scientific discovery. So it's really exciting for us to be able to gather all of this data because our next total eclipse isn't happening until 2099. So anything that we have now is really helpful in terms of contributing to a larger body of knowledge of what animals do during a total solar eclipse.